Hey everybody, Happy New Year and welcome back. This is Mike at Image Tutorials and today we're going to do a short tutorial on the basics of texturing and in this case UV mapping. Okay. Uh, if you already know how to create UVs and so forth, this is not for you. This is just uh, the basics. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a couple of very simple shapes. We are going to create a polygon plane pull that up. I'll hit 5 for shaded mode. Okay, we're going to take a polygon cylinder and we're going to take a sphere. Okay, now let's say we want to apply some material to this. Now obviously if you're in Maya you can just select your object, right click, assign new material. You can take uh, let's say a Lambert and you can change the color. <clears throat> that's one way of applying materials, okay? But that's not what we're talking about. What we're talking about is if you have an object and you want to have an external file projected on your object. Let's say you modeled a, um, I don't know, a giraffe, right? And you want to have the, uh, the spots of the giraffe uh, and so forth. You would take an image that has that, you know, uh, profile on it and you want to lay that on top of your object in Maya, okay? Now you do that by applying UVs, right? Now, I'll just uh, show you what I mean. If I select my object here, just gonna back to my polygons menu. If I select my object and I go to edit UVs and UV texture editor, you've got this little worksheet here. And um, this is actually your object folded out into kind of, you know, what you would uh, see if you had a pattern to make clothes, right? Or a box that you would unfold uh, totally. Now, I started off by creating this. And in fact, this is kind of a box. It's uh, not very high and it's very wide and long, but technically it's a box, okay? So that's your, your UV for that. So one of these, this could be the, the bottom, that could be the top and so forth, okay? So what we'll do is we'll take this object and we're going to apply a material to it. So I'm going to right click, assign the material, just going to take Lambert, but instead of changing the color, I'm going to hit this checkered box here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in that I want to apply a file, right? So I'm just going to look for file, select that. And now, I need to select that file. So I'm going to click on my folder and I got um, something here. Yeah, I call that striped. Okay. And that's what I want to apply to this material. All right. Now, if I hit this little checkered box up here, you see that these stripes are applied. But what if I want these stripes to be closer together or what if it's not fitting and so forth? If I now go to create UVs, uh, sorry, to edit UVs and UV texture editor, here's my pattern and here is my box shape. Now, in order to get a proper layout for this, what I need to do, and I'll just minimize this, is make sure I have my uh, object selected, go to create UVs, and in this case, a planar mapping. I want to hit that you'll see that this suddenly changes and you see these little handles here. What it's doing is it's projecting a flat surface over my object. So now if I go to edit UVs and UV text editor, it looks totally different. Now, if I were to right click in this field, go to UV, drag select the whole thing, you can see that that white square is my uh, UV field, so to speak. So if I were to hit R to scale that out, you would see in the image on the left that it's changing, right? I can bring that in and I can bring that way out. So depending on what you want to do with that, typically you want to stay within the field that you're working on, but as you can see, you can change that. Okay, so that's the basic. Now, let's forget about that guy. Let's take this one. So here again, object mode. I'm going to right click, assign new material, Lambert, hit my checkered box here, select file. 
and I'm going to choose the same file. Stripes, there we go. Wait a minute, this looks totally weird. Why is that? Well, in this case, when I applied the UV, I selected planar mapping. Now, this is ob obviously not a plane, right? It's a cylinder. So first, I'm just going to select this thing, go to Edit UVs, UV Texture Editor, and see what's going on. Now, what I got here is my top uh, surface, my bottom surface, the side, and so forth. And it's projected on this image here. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to minimize that, make sure I got my object selected, and I'm going to go to Create UVs. And in this case, this is a cylinder, so cylindrical mapping. And all of a sudden, you've got a totally different scene set up, right? The lines are projected uh, correctly. If I now go to Edit UVs, UV Texture Editor, again, I got this field here right-click UVs. This is my uh, my rolled-out side of my cylinder, if you will. And if I hit R and I bring that in, you can see it has an immediate effect on what's going on with my object. Okay. Now, what you try to do is keep that in sync with your file. So you can also hit W to move that. You can actually even hit E to rotate it. Right, to get a stripe structure. I'll just leave it as that. And that's how you can play with that. Now, the last one. We got our cylinder here. Right click object mode, select that guy. Right click, assign new material, Lambert, checkered box, file. I'm gonna select my file, striped, same deal. And again, it doesn't look two off, but again, this is not a regular UV, right? So if we select this, go to Edit UVs, UV Texture Editor, this is what it looks like. Now, the UV actually doesn't even look that bad because this is a proper layout for a um, uh, sphere, okay? What we're going to do is we're going to select our object, create UVs, and we're going to go to spherical mapping. And already you see a change. And this is projecting this file all the way around our sphere. So now, again, if you go to Edit UVs, UV Texture Editor, right-click UVs, and we select that whole thing, and we hit R, you can scale that into the field of your uh, UV, right? or out, you can even hit E to rotate, which will give you this effect, or that effect, depending on what you're looking for. And that can be very helpful. Now, there's one last option here that I typically don't use, Create UVs Automatic Mapping. Sometimes that will give you good results, but uh, I suggest you play with that and uh, see how that works for you, okay? So this is it for this uh, very basic and short tutorial. Uh, I got a question a few times if I could uh, explain a little bit about texturing and UV mapping. So this would be uh, session number one for that. Hopefully it was helpful for you guys. Thank you guys for watching and see you guys next time. Bye.